My name is Jacob Adams, and I'm a fitness and leadership coach. I help people just like you achieve more, more energy, more fitness, just more in the overall areas that matter most to health, wealth, wisdom. Have you ever struggled with retracting or feeling like you're shrinking in a moment where you definitely did not need to shrink, you actually needed to step up? Uh, it's been said that there are virtually two types of people, people that expand in stressful situations and people that retract or shrink. If you're asking yourself, I wonder which one am I? Maybe you're a mix. But for the most part, uh, when I was first exposed to this concept, I pretty much knew that I was someone that expanded. Even today, as I didn't know what to do today or what I was overthinking about how to best explain this video. And today I'll be giving you the main points and ideas as to how to know if you're someone that expands, retracts, and how to be somebody that doesn't necessarily retract all the time. Uh, you see, uh, when I think about my teenage years, there was moments in my life where I sometimes wanted to say certain things to people, but held back. Luckily, uh, I went ahead and started speaking my mind, and I'm very grateful to doing that. I ended up in high school being a drama major out of high school, and I did one act play, and I wanted to be in a rock band. So I always, I think of myself as somebody that originally in his young, in young days as a, as a boy, I started out as someone, someone would naturally call like shy or an introvert. And as time grew on, uh, as time moved on, I saw that I needed to just get out of my shell. And luckily I did that. And these days I sort of use it for the most part at, at will. Am I still sometimes in my head or sometimes overanalyzing? Yeah, like I said, I mean, today when I was in my room, I said, dude, I really wanna make a video, but I don't know if I'm gonna get to do it. I don't know if I'm gonna have the energy. You know, after watching some of my mentors and their Instagrams, I said, what am I, what am I doing? I gotta do it. I committed to doing this. I can do this. Let me do it. And even as I sat here and wrote down the main ideas as to which I'm gonna share with you as to how to prevent from retracting and get into more of an expanding mindset and expanding personality and archetype as a, as a person, uh, I was in my head. I was like, man, maybe I just won't do it today. Maybe today I just won't. You know, I was over analyzing whether or not I should make this very video you're watching right this second. I was like, what am I gonna put in the background? You know, it's getting late, I should go to bed, I gotta get up early, and on and on and on went the retraction. And then I said, wait a minute, I'm retracting and, I'm, and the topic is, do I expand or retract? No, let me get on it. And see, that's the thing, that when you finally start understanding that this happens, that we either expand or we retract, you, you, you can, even, even then when you know what it is, even when you understand something like the reptilian brain, even when you understand neuroses and complexes and the scripts that we inherited from our parents as to our self-esteem, our issues revolving relationships, money, things that are important in the adult world, even understanding them on a cognitive level, we can still sometimes get caught up in the muck of the weight of the issues of the repetitive habits of our past and the habits of the past of our ancestors, believe it or not. It sounds pretty crazy, right? It sounds pretty crazy that the habits and ideas and patterns of our ancestors are affecting us here in 2017 when these patterns and habits were established maybe in the 1950s or maybe even in the 1850s. So, as I've grown as a person, and even after doing uh, Jordan Peterson's uh, self-authoring, which you may see or may have already seen, I realized that this is some very powerful stuff that we're up against. And it's very seductive and it's very subtle. And we sometimes aren't aware that we are caught in a script, caught in an old paradigm. Now, through the study of psychology, 
through the study of personal growth, through my own, uh, through acting and courage, you know, stepping on stage when I was going through drama, acting, singing, uh, playing guitar, et cetera, et cetera. Through these activities, giving presentations for Advocare, uh, doing all of these things in life, you know, asking the girl on the date, et cetera, et cetera, going to dance on the dance floor. Sooner or later, I started expanding and having enough confidence uh, to continue the path of growth, which is really the only way that we will grow when you get down to it. It's the only way we will grow. So I've been fortunate enough to experience some very, very positive things. Some people might look at some of my videos and say, well, look, you know, this one's only got 30 hits, or this one's only got 10, this one's, this one's got 300, or this one's got 100, or this one's got 50. And they, may, and they may think, well, why do you do it if you're not getting the feedback that you really would want or would be somewhat really successful? And the thing is that it feels good for me to just get it out there and do my best and expand into the next situation and get the feedback and, and get the, you know, get, get down and dirty into the real, uh, real work. And that's been my success is I've expanded enough to know that sometimes you're not going to get the feedback you want so readily and so quickly but with enough courage and enough expansion and enough consistency you can start breaking ground until you do get the feedback that you want and that has been the my biggest my biggest gains in understanding and and applying the concept of expansion versus retraction so what is retraction okay i've ex i've told you that expansion is in fact uh you know getting out there not over analyzing yourself i showed you how just making this video is is me expanding in my world in my understanding okay getting up early to go to work is a type of expansion it's taking the stress and pushing back right i've talked about how Dancing, if you want to dance, is a type of expansion. I've talked about how singing is a type of expansion. Uh, when you have stress that comes up financially, you say, okay, this is what's occurring, and you face it, right? That's a type of expansion. So then retraction would be the opposite of that, okay? So it would be, okay, if I had not made this video and I overanalyze over myself to death and I just go home and go to bed early, you know, Retraction one, right? I'm, I've, the stress overcame me, the doubt overcame me, right? And I'm sure that happens to someone like you. It does happen, it happens to anyone. So the key is to not let those, not have too many of those moments where the doubt wins. One of my mentors, Grant Cardone says, feed the beast, starve the doubt. And that's so, and this is a part of that. It's like feeding the beast, right? So again, retraction is, you know, let's say, say you want to go up to somebody and say hello, uh, introduce yourself, but you say, no, nah, they don't want to hear from me. They would never want to hear from me. You know, that's a type of retraction. Where in other words, you have no evidence. They don't, they're not wearing a shirt saying, hey, you across the hall, I don't want to meet with you for all. Don't even come to me. Like there's nothing there really. Like when there's no evidence whatsoever, then that's a type of retraction. Clearly, if someone looks dangerous, and they say anyone that comes up to me or or then a hostile situation then obviously that's a best judgment where it's like probably best for you like for example that animal running away from that uh, predator he's retracting right he's retreating rightfully so right uh, the reason the reason I placed this video of uh, animals in the wild is because that's where exactly retraction and stimulus from the reptilian brain comes from. You see, back in, prior to, to the late 2000s, as in where we're in right now, we had little, little discussion of the reptilian brain and how it affected our personality, okay? But now we know that the reptilian brain is this tribal type a uh, brain that is ultimately looking to be accepted and be part of a tribe. Now, uh, and, and it doesn't want to be looked upon as weird or different because then it gets booted from the tribe. Uh, now, keep that in mind while I say the following quote. It says, it's not a sign of good health. It is not a sign of good health to be fully adapted into a sick society. In other words, understand that while the tribal mentality and the reptilian brain are in fact a, a driving force to 
self-preservation and a cohesive unit. It it's also could be unhealthy if the entire uh, society or unit is doing unhealthy things. They're misled, they are misinformed, they're taught to smoke cigarettes, drink coke, eat fast food. Does that make sense? The majority of people eat fast food. Does that make it right? No, but if you choose to speak up against it, in a way you're going against the unit. Now, now in modern times, we're starting to see that the majority does understand intellectually that fast food is not good. And they may eat that fast food with a bit of shame because there's a new tribe developing of this health consciousness that people that the leaders of health and, and fitness helped establish, right? So there's like a new paradigm. There's like the new group, right, uh, of forming. Now you may not know what I'm talking about, which is perfectly fine. But if you're tuning in and you're listening to these words and you've seen some of my videos, I'm sure I'm not losing all of you. So, in any case, we keep in mind that retraction and expansion as we go into understanding these things and how to prevent retraction and how to build the expansion muscle. Again, you may already have your habitual go-to. You may already, I'm just going to retract, I'm just going to retreat. <clears throat> and you may have areas in your life where you do that and scripts and patterns that you may have to break for your good health, for the sake of your future relationships, for the sake of your wealth and wisdom, right? You may need to break some of those habits, which is why we're going to, which is why you're watching this video. And prior to the late 2000s, like I said, we were saying, we didn't really understand the reptilian brain. We really didn't understand neuroses fully and that the scripts that were, that we inherited from our parents and the way they taught us to be affected us even now. And maybe it wasn't good for us, right? We learned to trust our parents at all costs, right? And as much as we love them, it's now in today's society known that now, you know, our parents could have done a number on us. They could have gone to our self-esteem quite a bit. And in today's world where we understand this, we're now taking steps, measures, uh, steps back to understand what are the mechanisms at play when we do something like we retract. Well, the first thing you want to do when you want to establish an expansion type persona, personality, is observe yourself in stressful situations. Observe, your, observe yourself in stressful situations. As I said, you saw predators attacking prey here in, in certain jungles and in forests, uh, in open plains, right? And assuming that we did evolve from a uh, caveman of sorts, you could say, a, a, less, uh, a less civilized uh, human at some point, right? It's been said that we did, right? The reptilian brain did serve more of a purpose to fight or flight, right? To expand or retract. There was a more immediate need for this. Living in the 21st century, as we do now, we find less of a need though to have such an immediate response to a supposed threat. Now the supposed threat could be something like be, not being thought of as cool not getting enough shares on your Facebook post. You know, and for these same, for these same seemingly, when you say it out loud like that, it's almost ridiculous. But in today's society, some people retract for the fear of not fitting in or not having enough acceptance in the tribe. And so observe yourself in these seemingly real stressful situations and whether it's made up, whether it's a digital you know, forum, whatever it is, observe how you react in stressful situations. I just admitted to you that prior to making this video, I didn't know if I was going to speak as tightly and eloquently as I would have liked. Now as I see myself, you know, or I see myself on the side here, glance, I'm actually quite happy way this video is coming out, but on before I shot the video, I was actually quite uh, shy. I was quite like, I, I, I don't know if I'm going to say the right things. I don't know if I'm going to hit the nail on the head. 
Now, does that mean that I'm hitting the nail perfectly 100% on the head? No, but I think that 85 to 95% of the message is being stated and you are getting most of it and I'm actually quite happy, but do you see how the neuroses and the insecurities were getting to me where I wasn't able to quite say what I wanted to say clearly and I was about to not make this video and you would have not seen it and it would have gone being lost forever. What is retraction doing to you? What did you inherit from your parents? Number two, what did you inherit from your parents? You know, in, do, in doing Jordan Peterson's work and working with some of my mentors, I, I've come to understand and accept that some of the money scripts that were, I inherited from my parents weren't and aren't the greatest. They're not the worst in the world. They really aren't. They've taught me to work hard. They, they taught me a lot of good things about how to live in this world. The parts I think they, I, I don't like that they taught me is just sort of linear living. They didn't really have a way of uh, teaching me how to think bigger. They kind of just taught me go to work and go to school, get a good job, and you know, that's it. And so they taught me very a very, uh, what do they call it? before the 1970 type mentality, okay? They taught me a 1970 type mentality and here we are living in the 21st century. Things like YouTube exist, Facebook, uh, all types of new technology exist. So our way of thinking has to improve with the times. And I inherited things from my parents and you did too. The question is, what did you inherit? I also inherited some of my dad's jealousy, you know, he, or, you know, he had a little bit of jealousy, I think. Yeah, I don't think he ever said it that way. And, you know, rightfully so. Like, again, think about the, think about a caveman. Think about how, what we've come from, the reptilian brain, you know. This is my woman, you know what I mean? And so, and I think that on some level, we as uh, homo sapiens, which is what we are in biology, you know, we, we like that on some level. There's some sort of pleasure the reptilian brain rewards us with when we say that and maybe our partner gets turned on by it, et cetera, et cetera. Does that make sense? So there's a very big hard wiring occurring and how much of this is positive, how much of jealousy is good, how much of jealousy is bad. I mean, that's to be, uh, that's, that's to be stated. But for most health experts, we do understand that too much jealousy in a romantic relationship is not good. So. I understand. I've talked about some of the things I inherited from my parents in scripts and how these things trigger the reptilian brain, whether it comes to the financial aspect or the romantic aspect. And so you need to know yours. I'm, I'm pretty aware of the things I inherited, the key ideas that are holding me back from my parents, the key ones. Does that mean that there's some stuff I don't know about my parents that they influence me? It's very likely that there's some stuff I don't know, but I do know I at least know some, and I know what I believe to be the key ones that are holding me back in love and romance, and the ones that are holding me back in finance. Does that make sense? Know your triggers. <laughs> okay, the video is about to switch over to part two, uh, so if you are interested in continuing, look at part two. I'll see you on that one here in about four seconds. Three, two, one. The next one that you're going to want to know is you're going to want to know your